Hey darlings, have you been searching the internet for a quick and easy solution to adding products to your Shopify store? If you have, you don't have to look any farther. I've got you. Let's get popping on how to add products to your Shopify website. Okay. Now, if you've already, we already know we're on Shopify. So our Shopify program or app is already open. Now, once you've opened that, you already know I call it the paper stack, the paper stack. It's over here in your top left corner, right? Top left corner, let's go ahead and click on it. We're going to click all products or products. You're going to see this whole inventory listing of our products, what they are, how many we have of them, and this is a quick opening. You can also search for products directly in the, on this page. So we're going to add a product. You'll see that in the top right corner. If you're on a mobile device, you'll see a plus sign. And so I need you to click add product or the plus sign, and that will take you to your add product page. For demonstrations purposes, I will use products that are relative or that are in my industry, I'm sorry, that are in my industry, and I'm in the jewelry industry. So every product that I will use or I will talk about, it is based off of my industry, but it doesn't matter what product or what industry you're in, the process, as I say, is always the same. So we're gonna go ahead and add our title. Now, if you're on a desktop, that is the first thing that shows up, your title. If you're on a mobile device, the first thing that will show up will be to add an image. As we go through this desktop one, I will come to the upload image and show you guys on mobile how to do that. So the first thing, whether you're on mobile or you're on desktop, you have to add your title, okay? The name of your product. The one that I am entering is called Total Shell Out. That is the product title. Now, in the title, you should also add the color. This one is blue. Do you think you should stop there, or do you think that it would help you if you add something else to that title? A little bit more interest, some keywords maybe, okay? So let's go ahead and add product type. This one is a bracelet. So now, in your title, if someone's searching for that specific item, total shell out, they will be, it's searchable. If someone's at looking for blue, there you are. They're looking for a bracelet. And then of course, if they're looking for a blue bracelet and whatnot. So this is a great way to start out your title and make it very nice for SEO. As you scroll down, you'll see description content box. <clears throat> we have a, set, a very nice menu in here, and we have several things. Here we have the formatting, if you're setting up paragraphs or indentation, bold, Italic, underline, bulleted list, number list, your indentations, your alignment. Do you want it to be centered, left, or right? This is where you decide. And of course, your color. And this is a really great one, the link. You can add a clickable link within the paragraph. And you'll use it, do it by add, clicking on this button. Button. <laughs> Wow, Carol, get it together. Okay, so next you can also insert a table, add an image or a video, and if needed, you can clear out all formatting. So let's go ahead and add our description about our product. For me, I usually go ahead and I set these up by writing it out and then copying and, pa copying and pasting into Shopify. Now, what I'm gonna do is, as I stated, you can go ahead and you can paste it in. Now, sometimes I come across this, I don't see the paste button. If you don't see the paste button, no problems. Just go back old school and press Control V and that automatically pastes your uh, description in. Control V, all right? So you have to your description in and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna now upload our image. For those that have a mobile device, you can scroll back up to the top and we'll upload an image together. So you'll click on upload an image. Once you click on that, at that point, you'll see your uh, downloads open up. You'll go ahead and double click, let's single click. And then you'll, in the bottom right hand corner, you'll click open, or you can double click and that'll open it up so that you can see everything once again. That'll take you back to your product page. You will see that you were able to upload your image 
and that it was done nicely. If you want to add multiple images, just do the process again. Click Upload Image. Des decide the image that you want to download. Double click or single click, then open. And that will insert or upload your image. Now, I do want to show you this. When you cover over the image, you'll see a preview button, an alt tag, edit alt text, and a delete button. Now, if you click on the alt, it gives you the option. Um, sometimes you can have an app to go ahead and pre enter this information for you every time based on your title, or you can enter it yourself. But I did want to show you where you could do this. One place you could do that. Okay, that's for your alt tag. Let's go ahead and scroll down, and here's where we add our pricing. Once again, it's very simple. All of my products are priced at $5, unless you buy a Z collection piece. So you add your price. If you like, you can compare it price. For my products, if I were to compare it price, it would just be, oh my goodness, really, was I really spending that kind of money? <laughs> So, you can also use cost per item. At cost per item when entered, your customers will never see that. That is for you, and it'll also give you your profit margin, okay? <clears throat> You'll see the charge taxes on this product here. It's automatically, by default, highlighted or checked. Um, this is something if you would only uncheck if you don't charge taxes. If you do, go ahead and leave it as it is by default. Let's scroll down. Let's go ahead and get our inventory in. How many of these items and where is it? That's what you need to put next because this will tell you, do I have enough to sell? And if I sell it, can I get to it easily? Because you don't want your customers to have to wait for their orders. The quicker that you can flip or fulfill an order, the faster your customer gets it and the happier they'll be. So let's go ahead and enter a SKU, which is the stock keeping unit. For me, I use a very simple, but oh man, it's a great inventory or organizational process. All I do is I, for my product, I have bags that I put them in. The bags keep them nice and safe. It helps them from uh, breakage and it just really keeps them longer and makes them just, you know, just keeps it easy. So I have these bags and I number them one through a hundred or whatever number I need. And once I enter that bag number, I pull the product as total shell out, and I'm going to enter that in our bag number one. If you have boxes or whatever it is that you need to put it in, um, uh, bins or whatnot, this is a really good system. It doesn't matter how large your product is or not. This is an easy system. One through whatever number you need, and it's there. Okay? So my SKU number, my stock keeping unit, where is it? It's in number one. That's where I know to, to go get it. So what happens is, and I will show you in another video what happens, but this will help you find it when you get the order. And the Shopify will tell you exactly where your SKU number is. You don't have to come back to your product. It'll automatically pull that. Okay, so next we have the barcode. This will be up to you whether you'll enter this information. For me, I do not enter that. Inventory policy, always have Shopify to track this product because if not, you will not know when the sale comes through. You will not know, it will also not uh, take it out of inventory. Quantity, that goes without saying for uh, this particular product, I'm entering one. If you have a thousand of them, enter a thousand. If you have 50, it doesn't matter. Enter your quantity, darling. Now, you see all of this great information on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead, oh, sorry. Go ahead and access this. <clears throat> this is very important. Um, at the top, you'll see where we have our product, de product availability or what's also called sales channels. Now, the sales channels are stores or places where your product can be sold or your product can be seen. And the more that you have, of course, the better off you are because that means your product is getting in front of um, and more people are able to see that product. That's what you want. Ta-da! Okay, so we'll talk about that on another one, but let's keep going. As you scroll down or go forward or whichever way, you'll see organization. In organization, this is very um, good, and it ties in to uh, things or processes that you will have to do down the road, okay? So product type, as you see, it's geared towards my business. As I stated, this is a bracelet. 
<clears throat> if you're doing this for the first time, these will not pull up this way. This is, um, you will type in the information and it'll save it as you go. And as you um, add more product, it'll come up automatically, okay? So this is a bracelet, I'm gonna click bracelet. My vendor, I purchased from Paparazzi Accessories, so I always enter Paparazzi as the vendor. As the collection, <clears throat> You can enter your collections here, and I do mine this way, almost the same as if I do my title. Now, for the tags, now in this section, when you're, you're entering, I'm sorry, I'm searching for collections. I don't search for collections, I apologize, because I have all mine just set up automatically based on tags. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, but for this one, let's go ahead and add our tags first. So there's no need in coming back to do that because everything is gonna fall like a domino effect and it's just gonna be awesome. And you're like, I get it, I get it. Okay, so boop. Anyway, let's go ahead and view our tags. These tags are t words that are searchable within your website. At this point, uh, when a person on your website puts these, uh, these tag words in, or say they're searching for something blue, when they put that in, it'll pull up all products on your website that are blue. If they pull up necklaces, if they pull up necklaces, I'm sorry, then everything on your site that is a necklace, they will pull up. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so let's go forward. This, again, as I said, was a bracelet. So let's click that because that is a word. If somebody wants to search for bracelets, they certainly would like to see this one. This was also blue, remember? Let's go ahead and type in blue. Let's click that. Now, what else was special about it? The name, okay? So I don't have that, but in all tags, make sure to always have your tags, the product color and the product type. All right. If there's anything else special about it, also add that. Okay. Now that's all that you need to enter into this. That, my darlings, is how to add a product easily and quickly to Shopify. I thank you all for paying attention and you guys go ahead and add your products. Have a great day.